you guys and happy October. You wanted a part two, so I went ahead and made a list of 30 full outfits, but I'm PSMing so hard right now. So instead, I'm gonna quickly show you 15 full outfits and hopefully it goes well. Or I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump right into it. So the first outfit is my new checkered dress. Oops, wrong boots. This dress is a little too big for me. Hashtag petite problem. <laughs> so I rolled up the sleeves and added a belt that matches the color of the checkered lines. The perks of long dresses like this is that you don't have to shave your legs. Like, ever. I mean, not that I really care even in summer, but you know what I mean. Here's another way to style the same dress with my pinafore dress on top. For some reason, it's giving vintage housewife energy, but you know, I'm not, and clothes don't define who we are, so it's okay. The next outfit is inspired by Lady Di. I pair the masculine jacket and the pants with a feminine black top with lace details like she did. So this is what I call my girl boss power outfit. Just because it makes me look so put together and it makes me feel so confident and I can pretend like I have my life together, which I don't. But you know, you can always pretend, right? In my legs, look. <laughs> oh wait, I can't find my mini skirt. Where did it go? And now I can't find my beige cardigan. I'm pretty sure I saw it yesterday. <laughs> The missing cardigan aside, I really like this outfit and how the cardigan matches the color of the loafers. And I don't think I need to comment on this one. It's really cute and it speaks for itself. This is exactly what you should be wearing when it's like wear a sweater in the morning and regret it in the afternoon kind of weather because if it gets really hot, you can just take the jacket off. And if it gets chilly, you can just pop it on, right? For this outfit, I went for a kind of a chic 90s New Yorker from a rom-com kind of vibe. I kept it simple with a pink flowy dress, a suede jacket, and vintage inspired flats. Is it just me or wearing a ponytail makes me want to go like this? Because <laughs> it's just fun. The next outfit is what I would wear to a coffee date because I literally look like coffee and I love when my outfit matches my drink. It's kind of my obsession. I look so put together! For the next outfit, I went for 70s meets Wes Anderson kind of a look. Some people don't like pairing socks with like platform sandals but I think it's cute. I used to think it looks hideous, but now I'm convinced. But yeah, I think it's a great way to keep wearing summery sandals into the colder month. And I'm pretty sure it looks so cute with corduroy jacket on top. Ah, <laughs> so cute. I feel like I could be a cartoon character in this outfit. Maybe like Scooby-Doo? What do you think? Oh. Now I seriously belong in a cartoon series. I really like how the masculine corduroy jacket balances out the rest of the more girly outfit. These knee socks are one of the best purchases I've ever made this year. They are under 20 bucks on Amazon, but it comes with four pairs in different colors. So they're practically four long boots but much comfier and more affordable. Of course, this is not sponsored, and if you're interested, I put a link in my description. Wait, my heel just broke. Oh my gosh, it looks hideous. This side looks perfectly fine, although it's dirty. Look. 
Oh, it's everywhere. Okay, back to the video. This outfit is amazing. Oh, so cute. For this outfit, I went for a preppy 50s inspired look with my trusty cropped sweater vest and my plaid pleated skirt. I really like how the skirt adds a dimension and a bit of colors to the outfit. Here I'm just switching out the sweater vest for a red cardigan. I've been loving wearing a v-neck cardigan as a top instead of uh, wearing it as a cardigan. You know what I mean. I think it looks very flattering and complements the neckline. So one of you noticed that I didn't wear the butterfly sleeve dress in the last video. So here it is. And this dress is a little bit loose around the waist. So I'm going to wear my trusty flat blazer. <coughs> Seriously, what's happening? I hate it. Anyways, I'm not a huge fan of pink, but I think this muted pink dress and the beige blazer complement each other and it just makes me happy. So for the next outfit, I'm manifesting my inner Steve Jobs with a very timeless black turtleneck and my plaid pencil pants and not pencil pants. Cigarette pants, that's it. Why do I always forget to put a belt? And I regret it when I come home. Like, oh, it looks much, much better with a belt on top. Yeah, it looks way better. Way, 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 way better. And here's the outfit style for chillier fall weather with a trench coat. I really like how the beige trench coat tie in the otherwise dark outfit. My best fashion advice is that when in doubt, just pop on a trench coat and you look pretty put together without even having to think about it. So I love flannel shirt. They're cozy, they're light, and they're flat. But I haven't worn it as much because it looks like pajamas. But I'm trying to change that narrative because I'm pairing it with a sweater on top. Now it doesn't look like pajamas at all. I'm a broken record at this point, but I'm wearing the loafers again. If you learn one thing from this video, it's that you might want to get a pair of these. I like wearing black tights, but what I don't like is that men on the street stare at you. I mean, not you, at your legs. And it's uncomfortable as hell. And I don't like that. But if I like it, I should wear it. But if I get cat called, I don't want to wear it. Oh well, I don't care. I mean, I do care. But I want to wear whatever I like. And no matter what you wear, I mean, people, I mean, men would never stop objectifying women. So why should you care, right? So I'm wearing this. That's it. The grand finale is the ultimate dark academia outfit. I love everything about this outfit. How the vest is peeking underneath the blazer, how all the different fabrics and all the different shades of moody brown look together, and how it's not too girly, not too masculine. It's just perfect if I may so myself. So those are all the looks I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and please subscribe and I love you guys so much. Ow. Do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it.